Oh my gosh, I am so excited guys. This is the second annual seed giveaway for my channel. Um, and I hope to make it a yearly tradition, but I have some really cool seeds that I grew here and saved just for you guys. So here in the Northern Hemisphere, it is time to start thinking about what you're gonna plant in the spring and into the summer of your garden. This is often the time that people are looking at seed catalogs and ordering seeds for the year. Um, if you're new to gardening and you didn't know that you should be starting this early, here's a reminder. Um, oftentimes, especially since COVID, um, seed companies will sell out pretty quick, especially when the spring rush hits. So if you wanna get all of the seeds that you want, it's usually better to start buying back in even as early as November, although some seed companies don't have things available until a little bit later than that. And I think January is a fine time to start thinking about that. Um, for me, seed starting is gonna be about mid-February for a lot of the summer stuff. Um, so buying back in November, December, is when I would have to buy stuff that I want to plant like in the ground for the spring and also for the summer. So January is a pretty slow month for the garden. Uh, my garden right now, if you guys watched my garden tour a few days ago, is mostly dead. There's not a lot going on. Um, however, I think it's important to keep up the enthusiasm, momentum for the garden, even in the middle of winter when there's not a lot going on. Uh, which is why last year I decided to do a seed giveaway in the winter. So this year I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to show you guys all of these cool seeds that I've saved straight from my garden that I really want to share with you. So this first one is red noodle beans. Um, these I got a few years ago from Baker Creek originally and I've been growing them in my garden for a few years now. And so these are seeds saved from the summer as are all the rest of these. Um, and these ones I wanna give away to you guys because they are one of my absolute favorite things in the garden every year. I put them on an arched trellis and these noodle beans get to be like about this long. And so they're dangling down in the trellis and it makes it feel like, like some little pocket of an alien planet. It's so cool. And not only that, these are really productive beans. You can eat them as fresh green bean type beans, or you can harvest the dried beans from them, which I have a whole jar of these that I've been using, like kidney beans essentially. Um, so they're really great for that. And they're also productive for the entire season. So I will start these in the spring and I will still be getting beans all the way up until the freeze in like October, early November for me. Um, so that's a really long productive season for any plant really. All right, the second one is a purple pole bean. This bean I originally got, um, I guess online somewhere. And I've also been growing this in my garden for a few years now. Um, it is that purple bean that I planted alongside of my tomatoes. Um, and if you remember, I was harvesting like a ton of beans off of just three plants. Um, every like couple of days I could get like my hands around this much beans from just three plants um, at the peak of their production. It was crazy. And then that's not even counting all of the ones that got kind of lost in the jungliness of the tomatoes and I didn't see and they got too big and then I got dried beans out of that. Um, so I do have quite a sizable pile of dried beans from just those three plants as well. So again, this amazingly productive, beautifully purple variety, I just absolutely had to share. All right, this next one is cucumbers. Um, this is the white pickling cucumber. Um, it looks a little yellowish now that it's pickled. Um, my partner says that they look kind of like ghost pickles. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, I grew these last year and I really liked them. So I saved a bunch of the seeds and I'm going to be sharing them with you guys. All right, next up is stevia. Uh, I have had this particular stevia plant for I think three years now. Um, I saved seeds off of it just a couple of months ago. Um, and stevia is one of those plants that it will die back in the winter and then regrow from the root ball in the spring. 
So it's really an easy herb to have in your garden. And then the leaves, if you've never had stevia leaves before, they actually do taste like sugar. Um, you, you bite into it, it's like maybe a little green tasting, but also just like, like putting a spoonful of sugar into your mouth. It's kind of wild. Um, and I do have a video talking about how I make stevia extract from my plant. I don't always do that because it's one of those things that like falls to the bottom of the list when there's a ton of gardening stuff going on, but I have done it and it turns out pretty great. If you want to learn how, you can go check that out up there. Um, and you can grow your own stevia with these seeds. All right, this next variety I'm calling red popcorn. Um, and that's because I don't really know what kind of corn it is. I got seeds um, in a seed swap from another YouTuber a couple of years ago. And I planted those corn seeds and grew them up. And they were this beautiful, like multicolored kind of corn. There were some ears that dried red, some that dried like purple, some that were multicolored. Um, and I thought that the red ones looked a lot like the strawberry popcorn that I had seen in seed catalogs. So I separated all the kernels out by color and then replanted just the red ones this year to see what would happen. And I got all red cobs of corn. Um, so I dried those and I've been using them as popcorn and they work pretty fantastically. So. I'm not entirely sure what kind of red popcorn this is, but it is red and it pops like popcorn. Um, and I am an absolute addict of popcorn. So of course I had to share my lovely popcorn variety with you guys. This next one is the white lady turnip. Um, this is my favorite turnip to grow because the leaves, uh, the leaves of a lot of turnips are kind of just a little bit spiky. Um, and this is worse with radishes, but some turnips have these like spiky leaves and turnip leaves are edible, but I don't want to be eating those kind of spiky leaves. And I'm not really a fan of cooked down greens, which you, the, the spikiness wouldn't really be a problem once you had kind of wilted it some. I wanted to put them in salads. And so when I found the white lady turnip that has really nice smooth leaves, this is the one that I gravitated towards. Um, and not only that, but this is the variety that randomly produced a ton of really nicely flavored uh, roots for me in the middle of summer. Um, the plant that I collected these seeds from went to seed after the spring and I didn't collect the seeds fast enough and so they fell into the, the ground and sprouted and I was like, eh, I'll let them grow and see what happens. And I wasn't really expecting a lot, but I got a ton of turnips from it. Um, and so these are the same seeds that fell off of that plant um, that grew in the middle of summer. And so I'm pretty convinced that you could grow this turnip pretty much any time of year. Um, the only thing, I had a couple out there that had also randomly seeded themselves. They did die off in the seven degree freeze. Um, but other than that, they've looked pretty healthy. And if you've been following my garden tours, this is also the variety that's growing uh, off the side of the porch down by the bricks, just in a crack beautiful, beautiful turnip in the crack by these bricks. It's kind of crazy. Um, so this is a really great variety and um, I'm really excited for you guys to get to grow it too. All right, and then this last one is Brussels sprouts. Um, these are seeds that I saved from a Brussels sprout that went to seed in my garden that was a store-bought start. So I'm not 100% sure what type of Brussels sprout it is, um, but the, this is the same stock of seeds that I pulled from to plant the one Brussels sprout that is still alive in my garden today, even after the freeze. Um, so I'm feeling pretty solid about this Brussels sprout variety. And um, I had a ton of extra seeds. And so I thought it would be really nice to get to share that with you guys. So that is seven different varieties of seeds saved straight from my garden. And in addition to that, uh, each of the three winners, because there are three sets of seeds, each of the three winners are going to get a bottle of Organic Rev. This is from my affiliate partner for the channel. Um, if you don't know what Organic Rev is, I'm going to link the video where I talk about why out of 
all of the different people approaching me to be affiliated with, why I accepted this company and why I support their product as a wonderful addition to your garden. So you can check that out up there, but they have offered to give away free bottles to my three seed winners. So I'm sure that you are super excited to win these seeds. I'm super excited for you to win these seeds. So how do you do it? The way that you're gonna enter to win these seeds is you're gonna comment below this video and you're going to comment on every video through the end of January. You can only get one entry per video. So you could comment five times on this video, but that would still only be one entry for you. And what I do is I've got a bot that will come through and scrape usernames from the comments of each of my videos. I'll put that in a spreadsheet and then it will randomly choose three different winners from those. So if you comment on every single video through the end of January, you will have as many entries as there are videos. Now you could only comment on this video and you would still be entered, but that would only be one chance to win. Whereas if you comment on say five videos through the end of January, that would be five entries. So all that being said, unfortunately, I can only ship to the United States. Um, there's so many customs laws about like live things like seeds and laws about potential invasive species and whatnot. And I would really, really hate for somebody in another country to win and for customs to just snatch up the package. So for now, United States only shipping. If you wanna check out all of the nitty gritty details, I will have that linked below in the description. And then additionally, if you don't wanna wait on potentially winning some organic rev, you can purchase some with the affiliate link that I have below. Um, it will give you 10% off of your order and I will get, of course, a little kickback from that being an affiliate. Um, so you would be supporting your garden and supporting my channel at the same time. So before I let you guys go, I do have one more announcement. There is another upcoming giveaway. I'm not gonna say when because we haven't nailed down the dates, but me and my dad who runs the channel Red Truck Woodshop, that's always linked in the description if you wanna check, um, we are going to do a collaborative giveaway. He's going to make something beautiful in his shop for you guys. And I'm going to choose one of my patrons as a random winner. So if you haven't heard of my Patreon, I will link that below. I have quite a few different little perks for you guys. One of the things that I'm most excited about is the stickers. Currently those are Patreon exclusive and I don't know if I'll ever be selling them, but you can earn those by being a patron. I also have a patron only Discord channel where you can chat with me, share pictures of your garden, ask me questions. Um, and I also am offering monthly live streams to patrons to actually come live chat with me and ask your questions or just chat about how the garden is going. So definitely keep an eye out for that to happen. I am very excited to be collaborating with my dad. Of course, I love him, he's my dad, but he's also an incredibly talented woodworker. Um, he made me this beautiful cutting board for my birthday a couple of years ago, um, and he just, does some some really cool and interesting projects and I think he's kind of funny and a really good teacher so if you're into woodworking at all you should definitely check him out. Alrighty that is it for me today. I will be announcing the winners of the giveaway in early February so remember one comment on any video from now until the end of January is an entry and I am so excited for you guys to win these seeds and get them in your hands and get them in your gardens. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy gardening!